The International Court of Justice of the ICJ in Hague will deliver its verdict on the retired naval officer Kulbushan Jadav, who is currently jailed in Pakistan. The UN court will decide the fate of Jadav, who was kidnapped by the Pakistani army in 2016 from Iran on false charges of espionage and sentenced to death. In Feb, the ICJ had conducted four day long public hearing where both India and Pakistan presented their arguments. India has demanded that Pakistan immediately annul the death sentence awarded to Jadav and release him immediately. New Delhi has also demanded consular access for the retired naval officer. India has alleged that Pakistan illegally captured Jada from Iran and tried without a charge sheet. Jada was also denied consular access and framed as a spy. On the other hand, you've got Pakistan that has claimed that Jada was a raw agent and consular access was not meant for spies. We have Geeta Mohan standing by us reporting live from The Hague and Geeta is going to tell us what the past precedent on ICJ deciding the India Park case really is. Over to you Geeta. Well, one very big case that comes to mind is the Atlantic case wherein Pakistan had its military aircraft in Indian space and India shot down that aircraft uh, after which Pakistan uh, approached the ICJ uh, uh, taking India to court. But uh, India won that case given that it's, that was a clear violation of Indian airspace. So that's one very big case between India and Pakistan, a diplomatic war that ensued after the uh, shooting down of the aircraft of the Pakistani aircraft, which led led to uh, the entire diplomatic war landing up here at The Hague at the International Court of Justice and in that case India really won the case on the basis of the fact that India stuck to its rules and regulations and international norms. This time around also India stuck to the rules and regulations and has questioned Pakistan violating international norms particularly the Vienna Convention. And as the International Court of Justice is all set to deliver its verdict on retired naval officer Kulbushan Jadav, India is confident of a favorable verdict. Sources have told India today that the odds are stacked in favor of India in the World Court. The UN Court judges are likely to deliver on consular access to Jadav. Remember, India has been protesting against Jadav being denied consular access by Pakistani establishment. Also, the judges may ask for a review of the case in light of the submissions that have been made by India in February. It should be noted here that the judgment of ICJ is final and there is no room for review. The court verdict will be a vindication for India and a successful initiative in busting Pakistan's lives. And here is a report from Peace Palace in Hague where a lot of people come out and put messages for world peace ahead of the verdict. Over to Geeta. Imagine all the people living life in peace. That's what you're reminded of when you come to the Peace Palace over here. The Peace Palace that opened its gates in 1913 has a tree called the Imagine Peace Wish Tree. Imagining peace, imagining a world filled with love, with joy, with brotherhood. A lot of messages over here put up by various people who come talking about peace, stopping war, uh, talking about better relations amongst people and amongst countries in the world but the big question is that this is the court that countries come to to solve their disputes some go winning some go losing and many of them either happy or very unhappy having said that there is hope when you come to the peace palace that there are places that you can resolve disputes without war and that's the message that this peace tree uh, puts up. This comes at a time when India and Pakistan are also battling it out at the International Court of Justice which is also housed here at the Peace Palace fighting the Kulbushan Jadav case. There are many students who've come to The Hague, uh, law students who have uh, put out their messages as well for Pakistan and for India, but we'll have to see who the big winner is going to be. At the Hague, Gita Moon for India. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share, and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.